This is South Park, the stick of truth, for here on Xbox Series X. Be sure to like the video, subscribing is great as well. So this is essentially taking the concept of a South Park episode, and or episodes, or I guess mini arc, and kind of applying it into the format of a video game. It's satirical, it's funny, it's fascinating in terms of role-playing, and it's from the creators of South Park, Trey Parker, Matt Stone. And it's an epic adventure that kind of, I guess at the time, tied into the show from what I recall. You're kind of the new kid in town, and you gotta earn your place. So there's tons of character customizations, everything like that. South Park. The Stick of Truth. So what are we getting here? It's 1080p, 60 FPS, auto HDR. And yes, you get to make your own character. Wait, spray tan? Okay, that's kind of funny. Huh, can we like rotate the character? I'm trying to find a style that's right for me. Oh wow, they got all kinds of stuff. Be the Mohawk kid from South Park. It's kind of stylized. There we go, let's go with this one. I am the new kid in South Park. I need like a stylized outfit that matches. They got no shorts going on here? A scarf? Well, I mean... South Park cows? Okay, that's kind of funny. I wanna go with that one or this one? This is more like a cardigan, isn't it? With red? Yeah, sure, why not? Red and green, let's do it. I got the crap beat out of me in South Park. Really, they added the tear? That's kind of funny. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to enjoy my South Park adventure. So it's got the cast of characters. You to recruit classic South Parkers for your team. I turned off the music because I'm kind of worried about the music having some issues and stuff like that. You know what I mean. Copyright stuff. You know how YouTube is. No fun. Move in. I feel like right now they'd be playing the South well, Park I theme. That's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think wow, it, it literally does look straight up like it's a South Park episode. They won't look That's wild. Here. And it's from Obsidian too, sure which is fascinating. They do incredible well, role-playing games if you're not familiar with them. Now I turned on the subtitles. That's actually something you have to turn on, by the way. In case you're wondering. Hey champ, how do you like your new room? It's massive, and in this economy. For all of us, but son, do you... Remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? Not really. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have. Lots <laughs> <of> <laughs> <ideas>. <laughs> why don't you go out and <laughs> get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. I really am a blank slate, yeah, aren't I? We love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's actually pretty good. Find some kids to play with. I have a goldfish? I don't have a goldfish. It's like a it's like a point and click adventure game from back in the it's a classic adventure game. It is amazing though how much it like literally is just a South Park episode. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. I have the ability to sprint. I think I'm supposed to go get money from in here, right? Thanks. I've only got six dollars and eighty four cents. It's like I'm poor or something. That we were supposed to be rich in this town. Isn't that the reason we came here? Was so that we could, you know, have an easier life in a cheaper place, in a better economy? 
Go outside and make some friends. Okay. Snowman, will you be my friend? We have matching scarves. Nope. Okay. I want whatever is in this tree. Alright, so we had a bit of a technical issue that's very rare, never happens, and we missed Butter just getting beaten to a pulp, but uh, we're continuing here. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. Oh, incredible. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> I mean, if that's what he's into. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Oh, I actually get to say. I, I, I'm able to speak. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Yes. Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Yes. Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief... Or Jew. I will be acceptance. I'm actually stuck with that name. <laughs> I'll be a fighter. We welcome to our kingdom, douchebag the fighter. Hooray! Now please go and visit the. Am I actually stuck with this name this whole game? Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? I will buy a weapon from you. A warrior's blade for two thirty-four. Ah, a lovely purchase. Thank you. Weapon strap-ons? Okay. It's kind of funny. I have a warrior sword. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. In turn based battle. Clyde. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Even they know turn based gameplay is late. <laughs> that all you got? Oh my god, it's butters all over again. Okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Oh, I actually have to like click something and then. I see. You have to actually hit this one. I like it easier when turn-based is, is kind of a little lazier. Oh hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch! All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. I'm trying my best out here. I clicked the wrong one. Dick, power attack, douchebag! You need to really hurt Clyde. Shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bow. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bow. I think I'm literally just stuck with this name this whole time. Prepare yourself. Suck it. No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. Okay, let's go. Let's this do it. Unblockable. No, that's not blocking. That's sucking. Try again. Tap. I thought I, I was doing it. Okay, let's let's try again. Maybe it's timing. I'm not fast enough. Right, you know what? Never mind about blocking. It's not that important. Just let them hit you. It's fine. All right. It's time to use your. <laughs> it's it's fine. Just let them hit you. Very well. Or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking. Shh. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your fighter ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Assault and battery? Didn't count. 
I kind of missed the. That was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. Okay, but I mean, I hit him in the face, so. That smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one I can't believe I'm just stuck with that name forever. Take this. Yeah. I literally am not able to block. Am I sure I'm even doing that right? I got that. Ah. I think I kind of blocked that one. Go cry, Cloud. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, Bee! and Cloud was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> Okay, okay, you've proved yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The twig. Oh, it's the stick of truth. Just two Exciting. Days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Mm, Don't of course. Too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm. Alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking. Oh my God! Defensive position. It's got quite the uh, the racket going on here. Can I steal the stick of truth? Did you imagine bringing your kid to this neighborhood? And uh, on the first day, he joins the LARPing crew, and, and now you have to like support him in his LARPing activities every week. Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clan, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Very well, it shall be done, my lord. Hey, where the hell are you going? Jesus Christ! Kick their ass! The turn based battle! Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! You're wounded, douchebag! Potions will heal you! Here! Thank you. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Right in the rear. Helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. It shall be done, my lord. Okay, that was overkill on that dude. I gotta be honest with you. Fatality. New kid wins. I'm just stuck with that name this whole game, aren't I? <sighs> okay, well, we might as well grab our loot. I've come to save the day and defend the realm. For a South Park! <laughs> what are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass! Oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Mm. This is actually a very clever tutorial setup, I gotta be honest with you. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mitt. That didn't count. Douchebag, use your arrows. Take out the archer. Do what I say or you can't play anymore. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the Wizard King. <laughs> Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. 
<laughs> the bow of sucking. Uh. Fatality. Great job, douchebag. It's what I'm here for. Is that guy attacking our cat? I can't believe he would attack our cat like this. Let's do this, douchebag. Quite so. Shielded. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Dude, you don't power attack a shield. That's Bush League. Just use your normal attack so you can hit him again. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, I keep missing that second shot there. I don't know why, but I keep doing it. There we go. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. How do I even remember all of this? That's too complex. That's it. Now finish him. Now. We have taken out the elves. We have saved the land. Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I yes! say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck This recruiting new kid was a smart method. We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. How? That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time. What? No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag. I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! It shall be done, my lord. Can't believe we lost Clyde like that. Good choice. Hmm. Can I get, like, a better sword? Wow. A nice purchase. Can I, like, sell my, uh... Oh, I guess I gotta equip it first. That's not it. Okay, that's great. I need to adjust my sword. I have a warrior scimitar. The bow of sucking. I need to sell this weapon. It's useless. <laughs> wow, okay. I'll, I'll buy his helmet now that he's been banished to, from space and time. Does that mean he's going to join the elves now? Timmy! Oh, here we go. I've leveled up. There's a lot going on in this. Abilities. Roshambo. Perks? Ooh. Magic. I was never expecting such detailed role-playing mechanics. This game has it all!